Okay, we'll go out in the garage now and I'll take a video of the car in question that is being auctioned. This is the garage that it will be it's stored in, it's heated and air conditioned, the car is in it whenever it's not being used and all winter long. And here we have the car, 1970 Mustang Mach 1, H code, two barrel, 351 Cleveland. It's Y code chestnut metallic. It has the shaker assembly, which is not original. We added that. It has a, a new red top battery, alternator. It has FPA coated inside and out headers with a dual Flowmaster exhaust with an H pipe. The uh, Radiator is aluminum and it has a Mr. Gasket uh, dual electric fans. One runs continuously and one kicks on at 185 degrees. It has MSD ignition. Uh, the box has been painted black because the wife wanted it not to be exposed that much. And there is a, a main fuse for the uh, painless wiring that is in it front to back. It has a painless wiring H4 headlight kit. This is not the sealed beam. These are plastic with the bulb in them inside replaceable. Uh, well, I will start the motor and let you hear that. Oh, I guess I should get the keys. I'm not the best video taker, so you're going to have to bear with me. Zoom in here where you can see the. Ah, it's gonna blur up. Mileage. I'll have that on the website. It's got the tack. All the gauges work. The clock is in white phase two. Air conditioning. Oh. 
see it's working. It's, the R12 has been replaced with R12A. These two fittings are brand new. All the rest of it's new except for the lines and the compressor. They were fine, so we're using them. The interior has all been replaced. It originally had ginger interior and it just didn't look right, so we changed it to the black. Uh, let's see. The stereo is a new Alpine with CD and it has the Bluetooth for a phone and you can put a SIM card in there or a SD card. These speakers that are in here came with the car and we have an Alpine 100 amp power amp in the trunk with a 12 inch subwoofer. The carpet and the seats have all been recovered new. The headliner is new. No tears. It has the fold down rear seat which you can see is just fine. Nothing wrong with it. The switch for the subwoofer is right there. Lights up when it comes on. It isn't real loud. The wife didn't like it that way, so if you buy it, you have to adjust it. There's adjustments on it. The chrome is all good. Not perfect, but good. The rear tires are not original. The tires are new, but the rims were bought at a swap meet. They're 15 inch. It came 14s all the way around. The wife has a hard time seeing over the hood because she's short. So I bought these at a swap meet. There's a little bit of rust right in, right in here on both sides of the back wheels. The fronts are perfect, and so are the two spares that go on the back here that are in the garage that come with the car. The windows are all tinted. The suspension is all new. Rear springs, front control arms, upper and lower, all move bushings. <coughs> I upgraded the bigger sway bars front and back, so this car corners, but it rides rough. You hit a bump, you'll know it. It's got all new KYB shocks. Now I'll point out a few things that have happened since the car has been done. We'll shut it off. Number one, the body shop and me argued over. He did not get this door defender perfect. If I don't sell it, it's going in to get to another body shop to get that right. Because when you close this door, and that's why I know it's in the door, this button here, it will break it eventually. They're plastic. Well, I've got 
spares. That's why, if you notice, the lights are not on. And they should be. Now it is. They are on. But I don't know if it's a switch, but still, I've got spares of them. Plus, this door needs to be readjusted on the other door. Because these doors were replaced. These are aftermarket. This one needs new door pins and bushings, which come with the car. I was going to do it over the winter. Uh, the only other thing is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video, but right, right in here, if the light's right, you'll be able to see it. There's a little flat spot and the same thing on the other side. And what that's caused from is people at car shows who don't care about these cars. We've come back from looking at cars and found people leaning on the quarter panels. A dent, a paintless dent removal could pop them back out. And that's what I'm going to have done if it doesn't sell. This is not a hundred point show trailer queen. This car, by Haggerty's and my appraisal I have, which I'll post both, averages it out at 40 to 42,000. And the appraisal's at 45, but that was done back uh, 2010 or 11. So that's why I'm basing my price at 40,000. I don't, it, oh, and this has got automatic overdrive. You'll get 20.5 miles of the gallon on the highway. That's what we've got. It's been to the good guys show in Des Moines from Kansas City three times without a problem. Running the air 70 mile an hour. It just got back from the Woodward Dream Cruise on Mustang Alley, which I'll post links that show it at the car show. And we were invited to the Ford Proving Grounds where the wife took it around their high bank five mile track at a 85 and up to 100 mile an hour. Not a problem. I would drive this car to California and back and not, not sweat it a bit. Okay, that's the best I can tell you. Oh, I forgot. Wait a minute. Here's the spare parts that come with it. Uh, those two wheels are in super nice shape. The tires are old. So we, the ones on the car are a year old. These, oh, I can't even estimate how old they are. They came on the car. But date coded, they're pretty old. So they're used as spares. In the cardboard box, that's an Edelbrock four barrel to two barrel heads intake manifold. You can change it to a four barrel if you want. Uh, it, it's nickel powder coated. In the blue box below, that's all kinds of spare parts for the car, small things. Uh, uh, power steering, bushing, uh, where it hooks to the car frame. Uh, the headers tend to heat them and meld them. I replace them once a year. Uh, all kinds of different things. Uh, there's air, uh, air filters in there, whatever. Uh, this here, in this cardboard box, I had cut the carpet too short underneath the door sills, and it kept pulling out. It aggravated me, so I bought a new set, because I couldn't buy just the front, and put it in. And so the, this is new rear carpet, never been used. It comes with it. 
in this white bag uh, container here. That is a four hundred dollar car car craft car cover cover craft car cover that goes on a car. It's cotton lined. It's all seasoned, but we only use it in the garage to keep the dust off it. And now here's something pretty different. For long trips and ones we don't care about looking original, those are 2005 bucket seats out of a Mustang that was wrecked. I bought them. We knocked off the brackets to mounting and welded on new ones and they'll bolt right in the car and the driver's seat is electric and the wires are underneath the carpet real easy to just pull them out and plug them in uh, these are much more comfortable on long trips than the original ones in there locally we keep the originals all this comes with the car okay well that's about the best I can tell you of the good and the bad uh, like I say it's not a hundred point trailer queen show car uh, it but it is a nice car oh I'll show you one last thing before I get off of here these are the trophies that it's won pretty much locally around Kansas City, Kansas, and Kansas City, Missouri area. Those, we got, she's got those up there. All them plaques, the metal ones. Those there. That's all this car is won. So, it's not like it's, gonna cost a lot of money to fix them little things I told about they're all pretty easy you could fix fix them all uh, one month of the winter uh, that picture up there that was this was a 25th wedding every present to my wife that picture I had made up at the same time that's the one thing that won't go with the car some of these trophies will go with the car because why do we need them she wants to keep those metal ones. I do know that up on the top. But all the rest will probably go with the car. Well, that's the best I can tell you. And uh, I hope somebody wants it. If they don't, well, we're going to keep it. Oh, and this here. That's something I had made up for her. That'll probably go with the car, too. Okay. Well, that's the best I can say. I'm off of here.